Okay, so Athletic Paradigm, essentially we're a one-stop shop for athletes that are driven, uh, really trying to make it to the next stage in their development. We try to help find the cap on your potential. We do target athletic scholarships, we target professional, you know, I do want these athletes to be able to find a, a means to their efforts, so we kind of cut the level the playing field and use our experience to help them get to those places that we've already been at uh, and use our experience to give them the insight that they need to actually make those steps and shift their paradigm athletically in order to get to the, the actual goal that they're trying to set. There's too many guys, too many kids running in circles. There's so much on the internet now in terms of misinformation. There's information, but there's also misinformation and it's very difficult to decipher which, so we're trying to be that beacon. For us, um, you know, what we've done is, it, you know, we start with football just because it's, it's the, you know, nearest and dearest and easiest to, for me to transition into. But we're going to branch into other sports. But the biggest thing you'll see is, is we package everything for it's customized for where you're at. Everybody gets a consultation and we figure out where you're trying to go and if I can, if we can help you. Uh, if we can help you, then we customize the package for you at whatever stage you're at, and that package changes as you change and grow and evolve. So really carve out a map for, for where you're trying to go and uh, what services we can offer in order to do that, whether it be live sessions, speed, skill, um, nutrition, strength. Uh, we even do film analysis, positional analysis, which is a really underrepresented uh, skill, especially in this country. So really just trying to be that differentiating factor, especially for the Canadian football player right now is our big focus. Uh, we got a lot of athletes on this side of the, of the border, but a lot of them just have no direction, lack of coaching and lack of just understanding of how to get where they want to go. For me, I mean, started, you know, when I wanted to become a D1 athlete and I, and I was able to do that in three sports, football, basketball, and track at the University of New Hampshire. Um, then from there, I was able to make my transition to the pros and uh, play 11 years as a professional in the CFL and NFL. Um, take that into training athletes and then into the coaching realm at the youth sport level um, and the national level. Now getting back into the private sector and trying to unload and unpack all these things onto these athletes and kind of pour everything that I've learned in that time, 30 years of you know being in this game, um, into what these athletes need and, and trying to be what they need at this time. I, you know, part of it for me, I, I've spent some time with teams and also just also seeing you know how they run and bureaucracy involved and the lack of freedom and understanding of maybe how some of these things should work. Uh, for me, it, it just made a lot more sense to be able to kind of march to my own beat and uh, expound on things as I need to. Uh, but I, it's not like I didn't take the time to, to at least see what it was all about. But for me right now, this is the best fit. With us, at the very least, uh, you know that you're gonna you're, you're getting wisdom from someone who's been where you're trying to go. Every one of the athletes I coach, I don't take them on if I can't help them get there, and by help them get there, I mean wherever they say they want to go, I've already been there, period. So at the very least, uh, they know that if they want to be a soldier, they're following me. Like, it was, it was a very different time when I was coming up, um, but no, I, I had to wing this a lot of it on my own. Not to say I didn't have help, but for me, I was able to, to latch on to, to mentor other athletes that were a bit older, a bit more experienced. Um, that was where I really was able to, to learn quite a bit. It wasn't so much from the coaches I had in my developmental years. I had some decent coaches at the pro level, and uh, but for really starting in college, I had mentors there. I had mentors at the pro level at each stage, NFL, CFL, guys that took me under their wing. And, and so it's, it's, I have to pay it forward. It's, it was done to me, and I, I absolutely need to do that. They to do. me, honestly, the rewarding part comes from watching them, not so much in their success. I anticipate their success. It's how much they they realize that once they get there, they need to give that back. Like seeing my veterans, when, when young guys come in, they take them right under their wing, and that's the best part for me. Like they don't let a single young guy come in and not teach them the ropes, and, and I know that that's exactly how I was with them, and I know they're gonna continue to be that going forward in all of their dealings in the, in the game, and that's, that's really what it's about. It's, it's overall impact and, and being able to expand that through the people that you impact. Inspiring athlete, you know, it's all, it, you better find a path that works for you and, and make sure it works so you don't waste any time. And aspiring entrepreneurs, um, you know, it, it's a much longer grind than you think. You know, it, it, it's, 
especially this time frame that we're in right now, it's, it's real sexy to be starting your own business and getting your side hustles going, but a lot of people aren't talking about the work that actually goes into it. And uh, that's imperative to understand. It better be something you're passionate about because time is, is going to be significant.